Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So are you ready? Ready for another episode of Mystery Rank Up Theater. This is one of the things that I really enjoy doing in this game, ranking up a champion. And if you've been following me, you have an idea of who I'm going to rank up. Now, if you missed some videos, maybe you don't have any idea, but leave a comment, guess, see if you guess correctly, all right? But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Corvus, ha, ah, I'll bet you a lot of you are surprised. I'll bet you thought I was gonna take up another five-star champion, but I'm actually going to take up my Corvus to rank three. He is going to be my second rank three six-star champion. So without further ado, let's hit that button. Boom. Now he is my second rank three six-star. All right. So I'm about to level him up. And here's a word from our narrator. All right, I know I caught a lot of you. If you've been following the channel, you probably thought I was gonna be taking up Aegon here. I look forward to seeing the guesses in the comments. And if I see Aegon, don't feel bad because I figure that's what most people are gonna think if they've been following my channel. So this was a big surprise. I actually opened up some uh, tier four uh, class catalysts and was very lucky I needed three uh, Cosmics and I didn't have to open up that many crystals and got the three Cosmics I needed and did not get tech, which I already have one in the overflow. So it was a good time, loved it. Um, got a few more Mystics as well. All right, so here we go. Back to this guy who's really happy. Shooby dooby doo. All right, look at him. Nice and lovely. All right, of course, we're gonna take a look at his stats. Let's take a look over here. Look at that attack. That attack is crazy. I like it. I am running suicides, but wow, sweetness, all right? We can uh, take a look down here too, but Corvus is not new. Uh, so most of you already know Corvus. The five star is getting a little long in the tooth. You know, as the health pools increased, the five star becomes less and less effective. Now my five star is still awakened, so he's more suitable to Alliance Quest. But this six star is gonna help me do lots and lots of damage to some of the more higher health pool champions. Now, if I can get him awakened, then we are set, all right? Uh, but anyway, that is gonna do it, guys. Uh, we'll have a little bit of gameplay so you can see what this Corvus can do. Uh, I'm very curious to see how he performs uh, in Realm of Legends. So uh, without further ado, let's go over to Realm of Legends and beat up on Winter Soldier. All right, so one thing I want to mention right off the bat, this is not the best showcase of Corvus, but I want you to see what Corvus looks like when he has no missions and I'm running suicides. You can see I have no synergies, nothing uh, to improve his attack. I have no boosts on or anything. So while this isn't Corvus at his worst, it's far from Corvus at his best, but it'll give you an idea of what Corvus can do. But after this fight, and if you want to skip to that one, I have time codes. Uh, look on the progress bar. You can skip to uh, the later fights where we'll ramp Corvus up and you can see what he looks like when he has submissions. But in this particular uh, fight, zero missions, but I am running suicides. If I wasn't running suicides and had no missions, then that would be Corvus at his worst, because I'm also not running any boosts, 
All right. Now, you may notice that I'm using a medium light attack uh, pattern. And that's because I can get two special two attacks uh, in on one 20 charge rotation. Now there's some other things that you can do. Um, I've watched people do light attack spam uh, in order to do more special twos. You can do that, uh, but I don't do that in this video. All right, so I basically just did a medium light fire off my two special twos. Then I go and attack and get the charges on cooldown. Now you'll see I hit into his block while I have charges because I can crit through the block as long as I have charges, all right? But I went ahead and used up the charges. Now at this particular point, this is the downside to playing Corvus. If you cannot defeat your opponent before those charges run out, you now have to sit there and wait. Now, this Corvus is an Awaken, and most of the time when we talk about Corvus's uh, signature ability, we only mention his immunity. He cannot die as long as he has charges. But there's another aspect to his signature ability. Uh, it will reduce the cooldown of his Glaive charges if you can use them all up within a certain period of time all right now granted i don't really use that very often uh but it's there uh so for people who want to just do full five hit combos get the uh charges on cooldown they'll come back faster when you have corvus awaken okay but usually it's for that glaive immunity that we want corvus awaken all right, so you see here, uh, I've got my charges back here and I'm doing a medium light again. And if I found that I was getting close to a special two and I had like maybe um, one or two charges left, I could do just light attacks, you know, parry, light, parry, light. Okay, so you see here, we've got a special two off, but we've got... A good number of charges so I'm back to doing uh, medium light attacks here all right and I'm playing it safe I'm not trying to do anything crazy all right and uh, medium light again medium light we're getting down to the end of his uh, charges and I'm watching because if I think that I can't make that special two again I can just do a light attacks, light attacks, but we were able to get another one off and I do a medium light, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to finish him off here. Boom, boom. We just need one more. Bam, bam, and we're done. Okay. But while that was okay, that is not Corvus at his best. So now we are going to head over to the side event and we're going to do a path there and i think you'll be able to see corvus a little bit better now i'm showing you the synergies that i have active uh proxima of course for the true strike we don't really use it nebula gives more attack uh we also uh, have a synergy with nebula uh again more attack that's why we brought uh, gladiator hulk on the team and we also have gamora on the team uh to give more crit damage um got had a little bit of health there too all right but that's the team that we're going in with um probably not a team that i would normally fight with proxima i bring in almost all the time in aq uh, outside of that if i'm gonna have to deal with evaders i'll do that all right so we're gonna take this path and i like this path because we will be able to get three charges for corvus and you'll be able to see his damage ramping up. So this first fight, no charge, okay? So you get to see Corvus with no charge, no missions done at all, all right? And uh, you'll notice that I'm doing a medium, like medium attack. Don't really have to, but generally that is my go-to uh, with Corvus. But as I get him, you know, ramped up, 
you'll notice that I changed that a little bit. Okay, but just look at the damage. Now you see I'm hitting into his block because I can crit. And you saw a couple of crits there. All right, so you see the crit damage that he's doing here. All right, and hitting into the block is actually good to do with Corvus. Saves your glaive charges and you still get some good damage in as long as you have charges. All right, so down he goes without too much difficulty. So now, we still don't have a charge, but this is going to give our first mission completed. Okay, um, I keep saying charges, and I know that's probably confusing, but I mean missions. Corvus has four missions that he can complete, and he has no missions right now. All right, but this will give him the tech mission. And each mission, he's going to get a buff, a nasty cruelty buff. All right, and you'll see it in the next fight after this. But you'll notice that I'm now just going in because I figure I can get this fight down pretty easily. There's no need for a medium like medium. If he was beefier, then I might want to do medium like medium and if he was really beefy like you saw me doing with realm of legends winter soldier uh just do a medium light attack okay so now you see he has one mission completed and look at the buffs that he has up right now all right so he's got that buff and he's going to be doing more damage all right uh he's getting some crits in there but look at look at the crits look at his crits now they've ramped up a little bit um, there, there's, it was that 8,000 crit on the medium, about 5,000. Uh, so it's ramping up already nicely. And that's just with one mission. Okay. Now with this guy, we're just going to get him down. Um, there's no mission to be had here, but he goes down pretty quickly and easily. All right. Love Corvus. And I'm hoping I can get this guy, uh, awakened at some point in time all right now this next one we are going to be able to get another mission that mission is avenger you see that hulk has the avengers tag so when we defeat hulk we will have a second mission completed and you will see uh his damage ramping up even further uh corvus can uh gain a maximum of four missions uh, and we will be able to get three. The one that we won't be able to get is the evade uh, mission. Uh, that's when they evade, you just knock them down, special, heavy, and you complete that mission. And you save and keep your missions throughout the entire quest. All right, so now we're going to get a third mission. But for right now, we have two. We got the tech one, and we've got the Avenger mission. All right, and look at his buffs now. See how he has those uh, cruelty stacked. Uh, I don't think they're cruelties. I forget what they're called. Um, but look at his damage now. It's ramped up again. Okay, just look at that. That was a 10K crit. And this time I ended on a special one because I wanted to show you that although the money maker is the special two, you don't have to do the special two all the time to finish the fight. That special one does a good amount of damage as well. Okay, now we have three missions, and that's all the missions we're going to be able to get on this particular path. That mission was a mutant. You defeat a mutant, and you get that mission. So now he's got three stacked, okay? And just look at his damage. Look at that. 10k crits on the mediums now. 6.6 uh, 6 crit and that special one did you see the crit on that special one that wasn't even his special two and the special two does a lot more damage okay so down that path went and of course since we're here we may as well go ahead and fight the uh boss now i'm gonna show you the nodes that we're going to be dealing with and one of the nodes might have uh, caused a little bit of problems if it was not so weak of incinerate. Okay, so explosive personality, so no hitting into the block um, for that crit. But energy adoption fire, shifting immunity doesn't really matter. But that energy adoption fire, 
if that incinerate was worse, if it was stronger, we might have a problem. But I went into here, into this fight, just doing five hit combos. Look at look at what I'm doing. Um, and those incinerates aren't really causing Corvus a lot of problems at all. Okay, I fired the special one, hoping that I got a little bit more of a crit, but it didn't. Boom, he's down anyway. Just that quick. Side event done. So that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. My second rank three six star. I'm so excited. Take care. Uh, click like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.